got a video, a reaction video, another night, a night talk reaction video of me reacting to a reaction of the video that he's reacting to, that I am reacting to him react to. Let's get started. This is Will Smith finally talking about the slap, okay? So, no, this is obviously not my score in the Hellcat. Hellcat. The this is an ad. Long 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 it's been a minute over the last few months I've been doing a lot of thinking and personal work you asked a lot of fair questions that I wanted to take some time to answer Mr. Hancock. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk, and when he is, he will reach out. Um, so, so I, I will, I will say, say to you, uh, Chris, Chris, I apologized, apologized to you. you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable, and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I don't think Chris will ever be ready to talk. Do y'all? As a guy, in a sense, for someone to actually acknowledge their mistake, in a sense, you know, knowing that it was just a joke, of course, and, you know, the fact that what was pressured on to Will, in a sense, like, I, it's also a sense of, I feel like people should understand and actually embrace the fact of what he was struggling with instead of trying to, like, make him, like, put out as, like, a villain, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so, it's so annoying sometimes to me. Like, I understand he was out, he was kind of ruthless with what he decided to do because of what happened during that situation. But it's just like, literally, come on, man. Cut the guy some slack. He, he's going through a lot, man. Like, how do I know that? I don't. But just based on the fact that he had to go up there and slap a dude because of, like, a whole bunch of, it was already all over the internet. Like, it was already, before even that slap happened. Before the, the historical slap happened, it, all that stuff about what Will Smith and who he's with and all that, and, and it's, it's just all over the internet. All over it. Like, on, in a sense, you, you really think that that guy's just going to be sitting there and just like, <laughs> I'm rich. I don't care. No! <laughs> That's some, yeah, I don't get it, bro. Yeah, like, like I don't gotta be rich to even. I don't even gotta be rich right now to know that. Speaking of why you didn't give me all the snap, I hate that you fucking snap. But if that was me, or if that was me, if that happened to me, well, first of all, it wouldn't have went down like that. Because Will Smith don't get body slammed on stage in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that fucking just slap me like I'm like, you like, you stunning me some shit. Fuck that. But that shit happened. First of all, a grown man slaps, slaps you, your peers slap slaps you, your friends slap you, you. In front of the fucking world. You know what I mean? <laughs> in front of the world, bro. It's like Chris Rock is going to be known. He's stamped with that for the rest of his life. It's like a fucking scarlet letter or some shit. You know what I mean? And, you know, Will Smith is well, but he, he put himself in that situation. Chris Rock had no say in the fight at all. You know what I mean? That's, That's gonna, gonna go down, down in history and forever be attached to Chris Rock's name forever. He got slapped at the fucking Oscars for an entire world. world. I'm, I'm, I'm never talking to your ass again. If I am talking to you, I'm boxing your ass. I, 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 I can never listen to shit like that again. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what I mean? So, um, I get why. I mean, I don't know. Exactly. You gotta look at it on both sides. I understand again that that's also like a image kind of an image kind of take kind of thing, and that's gonna be going again. Like I said, going down in history, but it's just like again, like you, you like I, I mean, if Chris Rock was going through that kind of mess, like who knows what he how, how he would have took that, 
everyone takes things differently in some cases, but the fact that that was eating at Will Smith, obviously, and he would, he, if it wasn't eating at him and getting on his nerves so much, he would have never freaking went up there and slapped him, man. There was always a, there's always a beginning reason for something like that to spark at the end of the day. There's no excuse for that, bro. I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say, bro. I'm going to be ultimately honest. There is something deep down what was, he was starting a fire of why he did that shit. That goes for any person. He, like, anybody, even criminals, even, like, shit like that. I'm just being honest, bro. I'm being ultimately honest. Something in their mind or, or something that going around in their environment type shit that got them like that. Like, a lot of times, of course, people like that deserve, in some cases, to be, you know, put in that kind of situation of being locked up and, and or nearly whatever in, in some cases. But, like, still, come on, man. Like, you got to understand that. Like, just because you think badly of somebody, that doesn't mean that you, like, like you just, like, they're just that person. There's some, there's a reason why they became that person. Everybody has a beginning. Childhood. It could be from anything. Just a breakup. Somebody eating, somebody freaking, a, a bully, bull, some, like a bully, like, you know, b- bullying or some shit. I don't know, that, that was a random one. I just made, I made that one up. Like, but still, just, man. It was all fuzzy or something. Bullshit. 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 It was just, just blacked out, out or something. No, no, you should, should, that should have been your first thing. You should fucking apologize to that fucking man, dog. It wouldn't have made no goddamn difference, difference to him. him. Maybe, Maybe it would have made it better. Well, no, at first, no, and plus, nobody, nobody stopped him before he even slapped him. Nobody did. Everybody was just sitting there watching him walk up. What they think was, what, he, what did they really think he was about to do? Again, like, no one came up to his side to be like, hey, man, this is not a good idea. Please don't hurt him. Just don't hurt him. He was just joking. It's okay. Nobody did that shit. They just watched him walk up there and slap him, man. If y'all cared about him so much, and and y'all cared about this slap so much, like, again, if you guys were, in a sense, to understand and see that he was upset about that, nobody would would have even allowed him to, like, get up to go over there to harm him like that. Man, where are you? Like, does Will Smith have friends? Where, where is his friends at? What, like, come on. Like, it may be one of his peers, but, like, at least someone should have got up and said something or did something to prevent that to happen. Clearly, he was walking up there with, with intent to slap the shit out of him, and which he did. Slapped him. <laughs> Bet it. As far as the optics, optics are concerned, that was, that was your first, first thing to do was apologize to the, the fucking man you put your hands on. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll hell no. Hell no. Hey, it's not like he was going to walk him and slap him and be like, oh, oh, I'm sorry I slapped you. Like, no, you know why he slapped him. He knows why. Even if it was just a joke sometimes. Like, his, the fact that his wife, in a sense, like, got under his skin to where he had to, where he had to walk up and do that shit. Excuse me. His wife was uh, offended by that because of some kind of whatever condition. Like she, like her hair is fine as it is. Like I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't. Like it's just ooh man. And if she doesn't accept that, then like I don't. Like I can understand that. Like that's not none of my business. But I'm just saying in a natural sense, bro. Oh, no, I got I to, to, I got to, I got to say. To Whenever yeah, you're ready, ready to talk, talk. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's, Chris's mother. mother. I saw an interview that Chris's, Chris's mother did, and, and you know, that was, was one of the things, things about, about that moment. I just didn't realize, and you know, I wasn't, wasn't thinking, thinking but how many people got hurt in that moment. moment. So, so I want to uh, apologize, apologize to Chris's, Chris's mother. mother. I want to apologize to Chris's family, family uh, specifically, specifically Tony, Tony Rock. Rock. You know, we, we had, had a great, great relationship. relationship. You know, Tony, Tony Rock is my man. man. Um, um, and, uh, I just wish people could uh, come into understanding instead of just trying to hold grudges and shit. That's the that's what can, that's what it, it can be a poison and shit type stuff. You know what I mean? 
Like, sometimes some certain grudges are just not worth to hold. Okay? Like a slap like that, and he's obviously apologizing, bro. It would be different if someone just was, did all this shit to you and didn't apologize or tried to justify their reasoning of why they did that. You're still harming. You still put your hands on that person. You still mentally or emotionally abandoned that person. Abuse, mentally, uh, uh, emotionally abused them. And you still expect them, you expect them to just not hold a grudge against you after what you did? And then, and then what? They supposed to take it as a, a lesson? No. The only lesson that'll come out of that is the fact that you can't, you can't even trust your own people that... that or his friends or whatever. No wonder Tupac said don't trust nobody. This, 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 is, this, is, this is, is probably irreparable. irreparable. Um, I, spent I spent the, the last, last three months, months uh, replaying and, and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in, in that, that moment, moment. Um, and so I'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now, but I can, can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insult. The entire opposite. It was, it, was the, it was the opposite of the optimal decision you made. You know what I mean? But at least he's recognizing the street. Well, I just hate he did that. I just hate he did that. To me, there's no coming back from that. He's, he's staying firm. Like, he's done so much fucking work, you know what I'm saying, to go out, you know, Go out and flames right there. That's crazy, man. It's like no one's listening. No one's not listening. No one is understanding why it happened. It's like they're so focused on the fact that it was wrong. They're not focusing on what was what was the the moral reason of why that even happened to begin with, bro. Like everybody, that's why I don't understand about some people in society, bro. Like, like I understand you're ashamed and you feel like so disappointed in him. That's just like a football field. Sometimes some teams just make a little bit of, like, you can't even say it's a mistake. But they sometimes they just miss catching the ball sometimes. And you get disappointed in them because they lost the Super Bowl off of just this one catch. And y'all, y'all gotta understand, people are still who they are as a person. They still are them. Sometimes it's like, and in a sense, like, or should I say, what, what do they call it? What do they mean? Oh, we're only human. Not perfect. But look what you're doing to him. He's a good guy. And all because of this mishap right here. Look how everybody's shaming them. Off of this one thing, and now they're saying he's a bad guy. He's horrible. He's this. He's terrible. That's crazy as hell, man. How everybody just flips on you. Would you do that to Jesus if he had slapped Chris Rock in the face? Because he joked about Mary or some shit? Come on now. I guess I have to. I don't know. I can't can't look at Will Smith the fucking same. Because he he did that shit. You know what I'm saying? In the age of social media, too, bro, you will never (gasps) fucking remove yourself from that fucking thing. But, um, you know? After After Jada Jada rolled her her eyes, did she she tell you to do something? something? No. No. Mm -hmm. Um, It's It's like, like, you know, know, I I made made a choice on my my own. From my own experiences, from my history with Chris, Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. What? His history with Chris? Is he referring to... Uh, um, I remember 
there was something going down, some old, another award show where Chris took shots at Jada or something, and people were posting videos trying to insinuate that that had something to do with why Will Smith did what he did. You know what I mean? Like it was some festering shit or something. Maybe I'll look, look it up. And maybe, maybe I'm talking my ass, but y'all let me know. I mean, what did I say? Chris Jada had nothing to do with it. My history with Chris. Yeah, so he had, he had some hot feelings. Okay. Jada had what nothing I say? to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, Barry. Um, but he had, but she absolutely had something to do with it because she was really like so disrespectful because he came at your girl. <laughs> he made it seem like him and Chris Rock have been beefing for a fucking long time to the point we at the Oscars. Think about it, guys. My, my Come on. Kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on mm. all of us. Mm. Uh, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Mm -hmm. um, I can, I can still, still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award, and you know. Just remember, guys. Good people also have feelings, bro. And then you want to get mad at them and shame them when they when they get when you turn them on the, on their bad side. Y'all yeah, gonna learn one day. It's, it's like, like I'm. I'm, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, sorry really, really isn't, isn't enough, sufficient. Sorry enough that he's like even trying to come through the whole video. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Um, I'm only you. So there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when... I, I let, let people, people down, down. Um, so, so it it, it hurts. Yeah. Uh, it, it hurts, hurts me psychologically, psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression, impression of me. And the, the work, work I'm, I'm trying, trying to do is I am deeply remorseful. remorseful. And, and I'm, I'm trying, trying to be, be remorseful, remorseful without, without being ashamed, ashamed of myself. myself. Right? right? I'm, I'm human. Sure. And but you should be. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. You have to. You gotta eat it. You gotta eat it. You gotta eat it. He doesn't have to entirely, bro. Like he should be able to like, he needs to accept it. Not like not like have to be ashamed of himself. He should accept the fact that he did that and knowing that he's trying to make a better out of it. That's what he's trying to do even with this video right now. I feel like there's too much tension and hatred towards Will Smith for that slap. There that, that that needs that shit needs to get piped the fuck down immediately, bro. Like that shit is ridiculous, bro. Like that is so out of pocket, bro. Like it's so out of pocket, man. Like literally, man. It's not even about the fact that he he's saying that, you know, that oh I'm human. It's not even about that, bro. It's the fact that he he should be able to even like, just accept the fact that he that he did that. And accept the fact that that's how he felt. And and accept the fact that that's what he did as a person to to walk up and do that. Which is the same thing with what I said before. Just in a different different mo uh, way of how I said it. Like seriously, like you guys come on, man. Come on. Give give Will Smith a break, bro. Yeah, I'm like yeah, like get you guys like to do a freaking kept swinging at him over a freaking goldfish or some shit. 
or because someone because there was enough mayonnaise on the sandwich. Y'all gotta chill out. Y'all gotta chill out, bro. Y'all got to chill out, bro. It's literally even ju- even that just makes it more stupid. Like, bro, like, relax, man. You, there was obviously a reason of why he was doing that and why you felt like that during the in the inside and how it erupted outside. Bro, I just feel like you guys don't understand something. Like, it's like as if you guys don't get it. It's like as if you don't get it at all. Like, it's not even about having to, like, know that he should be ashamed of himself. He should accept the fact that he did that shit. And move on. Just like all of you should. Ex- like, ooh, man. Y'all pity, y'all, y'all, I pity y'all sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? Unless you've already passed that point of shame. But you got to. There's no if and but about it. You got to eat. Accept your flaws, man. You're the sole one to blame for what the fuck took place, bro. Damn, you don't be doing the total action. No one the fuck how you felt. No one put a gun in your head and forced you to do what the fuck you did. Not just hate it. You just keep fucking living in shame. Just understand that. That's something you should accept about yourself. Response. To what the fuck you did. That's the thought process you have. I ain't like that. Just accept it. Try to do something better. That's what he's doing right now. It just seems so emotionally weak that... It's not like he entirely really hurt him. Except, you know, obviously it's a reputation wise. He slap slapped to Get beat down by the world the way he has, man. Because he was the... He was Satan at that point. You see what I'm saying? You hear, you hear that. You hear, you see, <laughs> you're not listening to me, what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Oh. It's like no one wants to listen, bro. Like, it's like, it's just, I don't think y'all listening to me, man. I don't think y'all hearing me. I don't think y'all hearing me, man. All because of that slap, bro. In the world, we got you know, Ukraine, Russia drama going on. Everybody's focusing in on... We'll Remember that book I was talking about? The and the stream the guys? World. I can't believe he did this shit. It was, it was on every fucking news channel. Every fucking YouTube channel. You know shit? I can, that even, like, stuff like this goes with even being in, the, in, the, in childhood type stuff. Like, I can see this in a childhood. Like, Bobby slaps uh, Tim over something like that. Or in a sense. And then, and then next thing you know, like, let's say, like, uh, like what, what did I say? <laughs> Hold on, what was his name? Fucking <laughs> I just made the name up. Hold on, like let's, let's go. Like Kobe and Tim, Kobe and Tim. So Kobe slaps Tim and shit like that, right? Right. And then next thing you know, Kobe is the one. Like he's always been the good kid, always sharpening pencils for people and being selfless and being kind to everybody. And then Co- obviously Cody and Tim have some kind of little beef going on, and and it, and it turns into what it turns into. And then Kobe slaps Tim, and the next thing you know, everybody's trying to. Uh, you're a bad person. You you deserve to go here. You deserve to go here. Like, bro, relax, bro. Like, y'all don't, like, y'all are so annoying sometimes with that. Thank you, uh, Cryptogoth. Crypto. I'm gonna get it right, dang it. Hold on. Kai Pigox. Cryptogox. <laughs> there we go. Cryptogox. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I really do appreciate it. So, like, again, guys, like, you guys got to get that stuff together. Seriously. Seriously. Please. Please open your mind. Please open up your mind. <laughs> please. You guys are not understanding this stuff until you actually sit there and realize that. And it's like, I, I, I don't have to watch freaking documentary movies and, and serial killer freaking documentaries and shit to know this kind of stuff, man. It's always, it's always been like that. It's always been. Always a reason, bro. It's kind of crazy, but hey. Just let you know, man. Because I get... I'm sorry. Man. Posting it. <laughs> on every, everybody, everybody, bro. Everybody's everybody giving, giving him the fucking blues. So, so I mean, maybe, maybe he's, he's saying, saying that he already felt shame for it, trying to get past that. that and he's, he's trying, trying to be remorseful. We can't, can't help but to continue to feel shameful. On it because he's just he's just human and he just said like the one thing that he hates 
doom that affects him the worst psychologically it disappoints people and he disappoints the entire world so you know, I can only imagine how that fucking felt um, you gotta eat it you gotta eat it dog I made a mistake and shit it out and purpose flushed it in the toilet I'm trying, I'm trying not, not to, to think, think of myself as a as piece of shit. Um, um, so, so I would I say to those people, I know, know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Was shocking. Um, but, but I, I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply, deeply devoted, devoted and, and committed to, to putting, putting light and love and joy into, into the, the world. world and... and you know. See that's the point. That's the problem. It's when people are trying to put out this kind of like this kind of like um this kind of motive, and then when they do something that has that's like just like for the one time even like that's the opposite of that. Everybody just points fingers and shames them. Like oh my gosh, it's so corny and cringy. I freaking just this. I I'm not going to say I despise it. It's just so stupid. I dislike it with a passion when people do that. That's just like if um, Team Rocket off of Pokemon didn't team up with Ash in, po in a Pokemon movie. Like, everybody's pointing at him. Like, they, like, come on, man. Like, it's so cringe. Like, ugh. Ugh. If, if you, you if you, you hang, hang on, on I, I promise we'll be able, able to be friends, friends again. again. And that's also just like like for example, let's, let me let me I can put another reference for you. Like this, like how people view Eminem. Like that's already like bull crap to begin with. All because he's doing something different from what he used to, and that, and oh, I want the old Eminem back. But because he chose, he he knows his pocket that he chose to pick, and he can actually do really good with what he's doing. And there, and they, oh my gosh, it's so annoying, man. It's so bothersome. Like, just shut the up sometimes, man. Like, y'all just need to sit there and just literally look at yourself before you start trying to depict and judge everybody else sometimes. That'd be the main one that needs to be looking at yourself. And then you got the audacity to tell people, oh, you need to look at yourself. No, look at yourself, nigga. Man, it's even deep, deep to me, man. man. You gotta work. I just hope he works on himself and gets himself in a better spot. So everything he does from then on is positive. I hope he rids himself from all these demons he has and whatever fucking turmoil he's going through mentally. I hope he's met. I hope he's able to escape from it. So everything he was gonna be positive at that point. I don't want him to hold on to these demons and then continue throwing himself in his work trying to change people's minds and outlooks on him. I just hope I, wish, I just hope it happens organically. I hope we all get to the point. It should work organically, because if people come into understanding instead of trying to shove that in his face, because that's what he did with his career in a sense, like, like how could I? How could anybody be able to like organically move on from that? To know that that just happened, it was a mishap, and and, and the fact that obviously it was a slap. It's not like he went up there and freaking tried to. Fucking suffocate his shit or something like put him in a, a headlock or some shit. You know, I don't even know. Like it would have been different if he went up there and just just stood there and went on, put his hands on his hips and just grabbed him and gave him a little nuggy or some shit. I don't even know, man. It's a difference in Will Smith and, and how he moves and, and, and his engagement. Pretty much his engagement and interaction with Jada, man. She seems to be the root of it. I mean, yeah, all, all, all this bullshit that Will Smith has been highlighted as weak has been from his interaction and relationship with her. So all he hopes he fixes himself, fixes himself with that shit, you know, becomes a better person and he gets the fucking old Will Smith back. The positive one is out here making everybody fucking happy for them. Man, I can't even accept the, old, the Will Smith that he is right even now, bro. He never even changed, bro. That's, that's the problem. Like, that, no, there's no, he never changed. He never changed at all. He was he is still Will Smith at the end of the day and always will be. That's why I don't get people sometimes. They always say I want the old person back. I want this old person. He's old he's been there. He's been there the whole time. 
It's just some things that have flipped, perhaps. But then also, in a sense, over time, some things have affected people over like days ahead or during the days that you haven't even seen them behind bars or not but like literally behind bars but behind the scenes in the background people go through shit stop acting like someone needs to stay like like just chill out bro like chill out like y'all y'all ain't going through much as what what he even went through only those that actually went through going through the stuff that he's going through they would understand that why he did that. I don't got to do something like that to understand that. I just know for a fact that there's there's always a truth behind it. So that's the, that's the reason why I... That's my view on this, okay? On this Will Smith, like, topic, okay? Because this is literally retarded. I got to do better than this, bro. Where's y'all minds at? I don't care how disappointed you are in him. I don't care. And I know nobody else would care about if I'm, if I'm not disappointed in him or not either. But the fact that you're disappointed in him, like, accept my, accept my criticism too then, if you're so disappointed in him. You know, I'm not writing, I'm not doing none of that. I'm actually just giving you a side that you never thought about. Nigga. I get on my damn nerves, bro. Like, I am so... I be... Ooh, man. It's crazy.